Hello world, Master Hypnotist Thomas Brezzarola. Hey, you watched my video on how to stop smoking instantly and it worked, but you relapsed. Uh, this is what this video is about. Now, if you're coming back to this video, just go right up here and jump right to the hypnosis session. I'm Master Hypnotist Thomas Brezzarola. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, you know what to do. Uh, again, if you're coming back to this video the second time, uh, you don't have to watch this first part that I'll be talking about the relapse, what happened, and all that stuff. You can just jump right up here to the uh, marker. That's where the hypnosis session starts. But if this is the first time you're watching this video, then you got to watch the whole thing. You, you got you to gotta watch this beginning here. It's really important to understand what happened. Okay. You stop smoking. You watched one of my videos to stop smoking, and it worked for you. That's fantastic. But you maybe you're, you're smoke-free for X amount of days. Usually it's 30 days, and something happens, and a person starts smoking again. Well, this is, your, it's not uncommon. Don't worry about it. Here's the thing. One, you have to understand that you are addicted to smoking. So it's just like, I give this example. It's just like your heroin addict. You know, the heroin addict kicks the habit and you hear that they, they you know, they take another hit and then they're, they're hooked again. It's the same thing with you and uh, nicotine and the addiction. Uh, it, nicotine's in your body. Your brain has formed receptors in your mind that say, I want nicotine, okay? And, and once you um, clean out your body of the nicotine, though the receptors are still there that they want the nicotine, they become used to not having the nicotine. So they're not rushing out to the brain asking you to ingest nicotine. So what happens there is your body is feeling better. That's what we want. Now, a lot of people... They, they, use, they have negative hypnosis. And what the negative hypnosis is, when you smoke a cigarette, your body actually constricts. And when it constricts, it's, it's, there's pain going on in your body. And when you're smoking that cigarette, you're getting all this pain. At the same time, you're going, oh, that feels really good. Well, that's sadomasochism right there. That's what it is. You are enjoying pain as pleasure. So think about it when you first started smoking. Uh, you first tried it, what'd you do? You coughed, you hacked, you couldn't breathe. You're saying, oh my God, how can people do this? That's your body. It's telling you, hey, I don't want this smoke in my body. I don't want any of this stuff. And that's what's happening. It's trying to get away from it, but you kept on forcing it in your body. And what's happened is the receptors started liking the pain in your mind. Hypnotize yourself to enjoy the pain. It's negative hypnosis. So through hypnosis, we can get you off the habit, and hypnosis does work to stop smoking, as you've seen. So now you're off smoking, and uh, you, you cleaned out your car, you cleaned out your clothes, you know, you sprayed the, the, the air cleaner around your car, you clean it all out. That's really important. A lot of people smoke in their car, but you also got to remember, you got to clean in your house because the smoke is on your clothes, and when you're sitting down on your chairs... That absorbs the, the, the sweat and the smoke that is on your clothes. So believe it or not, that little tiny lingering smell of cigarette smoke, your brain can pick that up. Okay, so let's say you have a favorite cigarette and um, somebody is literally 30, 40, 100 feet away, but the wind is blowing your way just very gently. Boom, you could pick up that smell. You'd be like, oh. Oh my God, that's that's the cigarettes I used to smoke. I enjoy those. That's going to happen from now to the end of time. Okay, that's what the addiction is. So, how do you get back on track? Well, this video here is going to reinforce what we did in the first uh, stop smoking video, and it doesn't matter which one that you watch that it worked for you. This video here is just going to help get you back on track onto the, uh, the, the train of no longer smoking. Now, I want to let you know, you relapsed, but the, here's the great part. When you think about it, you were not smoking like you did before. 
smoking far less. That's a good sign right there. Okay, so we are just about ready to begin. I just want to go back through this one more time. You're going to have to clean out your car. You're going to have to clean your clothes. You're going to have to clean the house. All those things that you did when you were first started the, the sessions to stop smoking, you're going to have to do it again because that smoke was on your body, okay? That's really important. Get rid of that lingering smell, okay? So uh, got to get rid of the cigarettes, all that stuff, clean the stuff out, all right? And now oh, another thing is we're not going to substitute chewing gum. We're not going to substitute eating. We're not going to substitute uh, anything for you um, it, to, instead of smoking, all right? Okay, so here we go. Sit back, relax. I want you to make yourself comfortable. Take a nice deep breath and just exhale. Good. Now, I'm going to ask you in a moment to close your eyes. You can either close your eyes or you can watch this video. Either way, this will work for you. It's totally up to you. And again, you're not allowed to watch or listen to any of my videos or my hypnosis audios while doing anything that needs your full undivided attention, such as driving a car or working at the job site. You know what I mean. I want you to make yourself very, very comfortable. Take a nice deep breath. Really deep, really deep. And just exhale and just relax. Again, take a nice deep breath. Really deep, really deep. And just exhale. This time, I want you to take a really deep breath, really deep, really deep, and just hold it, and just exhale and close your eyes. Close your eyes and listen to the sound of my voice, the sound of the music. And in your mind, I want you to imagine where you are right now. I want you to see in your mind where you are. You could be seated at in a chair at work. You could be laying down on your bed just before you go to sleep. Wherever you are, wherever you do this, as long as you're comfortable and safe, that's fine. But I want you to see where you are right now. I want you to look around. I want you to look around where you are. Maybe you're outside, you can see the trees the grass, maybe maybe you're outside and it's winter. You're inside, maybe it's your bedroom or your office. I want you to look around. What you see is all yours. Everything that you see is yours. It's what you worked for. It's what your drive made you work. It's what you desired. It's what you wanted. All those things that you see around you are yours. And that's a positive thing. You have to look at that as a positive thing. You worked very hard to get where you are now. Take a deep breath. Really deep, really deep. Just exhale. Just relax. And I want you to notice that there's no smoking here. There, there, you're not smoking what you're seeing. You're not, you don't see a cigarette in your hand. You don't have one in your mouth. You don't see smoke in the room. You don't, there's no smoking. Because your mind understands that you are a non-smoker. No longer do you have the desire to smoke. No longer do you want to smoke. No longer do you need to smoke. You have the power over your own mind to decide what it is that you want to do. And look around this room. See where you are. Everything here, everything in here is because of you. Not because of a 
person down the road, not because of anybody else. It's because of you. You made this. It's because you were successful in doing what it was to get this the way it is that you wanted it. And yet you notice there's no smoke here. There's no cigarettes here. There's no feeling of wanting to smoke here because you have already stopped smoking. This relapse that you have was just a fun little game. That's all it was. It was to see if you could fail. That's all it was. And it got you worried. It got you very worried. You said to yourself, oh my gosh, I spent this time and I stopped smoking. And I wanted to see what would happen if I had one cigarette. I wanted to see if Tom was correct. If I had one cigarette, would I be hooked again? And you realize that yes, I was correct. But you also realize that you don't want to smoke. You don't want to have this relapse and you want to be smoke free. From this point on, you're not going to challenge what I say about smoking, because you want to stop smoking, and that's what I want for you. That's why I'm here doing this, to assist you in reaching a goal. It's easier to reach goals with somebody's assistance, and I'm here for you. And that's what I'm doing here, showing you within yourself that you can do this. From this point on, no longer are you going to want to smoke. From this point on, no longer do you have cravings. From this point on, you know that you have the power to stop smoking. You know that you have the power over a cigarette. You know that you have the ability to succeed because you have succeeded in your past. You understand that you tempted your own mind in reactivating your addiction. You tempted it, but it hasn't reactivated. It takes time to reactivate a nicotine addiction. You have to smoke over and over and over and build up that nicotine back into your body. You see, it was out of your body after 21 days. The smoke was out of your body after 21 days. The nicotine was out of your body after 21 days. progress that you made didn't stop. It's still working for you at a slower pace. And you feel that in your own mind. You were going so strong and then you just feel this wall here. We're removing that wall. I want you in your mind right now just to see. Put your hand out there. Just push your hand right out. Just move that wall right away. Just push it out. You can actually feel the sensation of a weight lifting off your body as you're moving that wall knowing at this point on that you're no longer going to smoke cigarettes. You're no longer going to smoke cigarettes. There's no need to smoke cigarettes. There's no need to smoke cigarettes. You found being smoke-free that you saved money. You found being smoke-free that your health was better. You found being smoke-free that you felt better. You knew that you accomplished something. You knew that you accomplished something that others have failed many times before. You enjoy that feeling of knowing you can do something that others didn't. All because you stopped smoking. All because you stopped smoking. No need to smoke anymore. No need to smoke anymore. Your future as you see it. There's no cigarettes in that future. And when you look at your future, you see it more success in business, more success in your family, more success in, in the things that you want to do. Maybe it's creative. Maybe you want to do something creative. You're going to find that that creativity is just flowing from you. And you'll never think negatively of the time you've had in the past smoking because you know that was something that you did. You did it for a while. You, you had a good run, as we say. But now smoke-free. You conquered the smoking habit. You're not going to play around with 
tempting yourself because you have that control in your life. You have that control about your own health. I mean, you, you did something wonderful. You stopped a habit, a very strong habit. Nicotine is very strong to break. Very, very strong it is. You can broke it once. You're, you tried, you know, tried to get a hold in there, but it didn't. It didn't because you're here. You're here watching this video to make sure that you're not going to relapse. You're watching this video because you don't want to smoke. You're watching this video because you don't like cigarettes. You know it's bad for you. You don't want them. You are smoke free from this point on. In the future, you may be in a situation where you're stressed and you have associated smoking with stress. You have associated that smoking making you feel better and forgetting your problems, but you realize that when you were stressed, smoking just compounded those problems. Smoking made those problems worse. And no longer are you going to give in to any temptation of smoking. No longer are we give in to any temptation, any craving that you have is going to pass. Where before, in the beginning, it may have taken 30, 40, 50 seconds, a minute, two minutes for that craving. It felt like forever for it to pass. Now, anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds, that craving will be gone. That's all you have to wait. It'll be gone. You can move on. You'll be satisfied knowing you didn't pick up the cigarette. You'll know that it's just a craving. You'll be able to move on. Secondhand smoke isn't going to have any effect on you. As a matter of fact, secondhand smoke is going to be actually disgusting to you. You will not visualize secondhand smoke as smoke from a cigarette. You'll vis visualize secondhand smoke as coming from inside another person's lungs. And as that smoke is coming out of their body, it's filled with all germs. It's filled with their body senses and fluids. And you don't want to breathe that in. That's breathing in a stranger's germs. That's something that you don't want. And if you begin to smell that secondhand smoke, you'll instantly remove yourself from that area. Because you know that secondhand smoke isn't any good for you. You don't want secondhand smoke in your life, and you're going to avoid situations where the secondhand smoke is. Because no longer do you need cigarettes to cope with any pressure. No longer do you need cigarettes to cope with any boredom. No longer do you need cigarettes from social pressure. If someone offers you a cigarette, no, you're not going to take it. You're going to tell them, I quit. And I feel really good that I quit. Because you can do this. You are strong, you are capable, and you deserve a future free from cigarettes. You had a good run. Now it's time to get healthy, feel better, and move into the future knowing that you're not going to waste any more time smoking, you're not going to waste any more money smoking, you're going to feel better, you're going to look better and your life is going to be better. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to eight. When I reach the count of eight, you'll be wide awake, no longer hypnotized, and go on your merry way. Ready now, begin to count one, two, three, just take a nice deep breath, ready, ready. Just exhale, four, your eyes are being to open. Five, your eyes are open. Six, feeling the energy coming through your body. Seven, wide awake, no longer hypnotized. Eight, wide awake, no longer hypnotized. You're over your relapse of smoking. I'm master hypnotist Thomas Brezzadola. I'm so happy that you're on a path to a beautiful, happy, wondrous, prosperous life. I'm Master Hypnotist Thomas Bresson.